What this institute will do is make composite materials cost efficiently, okay? These are stronger than steel materials. So race cars, right, they're safe. You walk away from race car accidents, why is that? It's because carbon fiber, right, is strong, it's fuel efficient, it's lightweight, but those race cars are expensive, right? Aircraft are expensive, they're very fuel efficient, they use carbon fiber. But if we're gonna make those materials in high volume production environments like automobiles, like wind turbine blades, we're gonna have to make these materials rapidly and we're gonna have to make them with a high quality. And so that's really where Vanderbilt fits into this, into this uh, institute. So we're gonna have in the future, right, machines like 3D printers that make cars, that make automobiles. And you're gonna do it very, very rapidly. But when you do that, you have to ensure that the quality of the material, right, is high. So how do you do that? You have to make the machines intelligent. You have to give them vision. You have to give them measurement tools that can help the operator, the worker, correct, evaluate, and correct quality issues in the material. So what Vanderbilt's gonna be doing is developing those measurement tools, those data analytic tools, those measurement systems that will ensure the quality of those very rapidly manufactured, uh, very high performance composite materials. And I think there are two big, big assets that this institute has that are gonna make that possible. One is its researchers, right, its innovators, but tightly coupled to the manufacturers, the, the, the doers, the people who are gonna make these products, okay? And so you've got that connection immediately from the beginning um, in, in IACME. The second thing is, it's not just about research, it's about education, it's about training. It's about giving workers the ability to use the kind of measurement tools, you know, Vanderbilt's developing and other partners are developing. And you've got to give them the education to do that, right? So it's about educating young people. It's about educating the workforce. So if you put those two things together with innovation, right, you're, you're, you're going to be able to accelerate the development of these materials uh, like we propose to do.